on a future alliance in our solar system. In episode 14 of Star Nation News, Elena Danon talked about the human civilians that were greeted on Saturn's moon Titan. While searching for more information on Titan, I ended up in another episode in which she elaborated on the creation of a future soul alliance, an alliance of people from various planets and moons in our own solar system. This article speaks about indigenous people and people who have settled here from abroad, that is to say, from other star systems. The hub near Jupiter and the indigenous Martians. In the summer of 2023 the construction of a hub started near Jupiter. We were told that since we are currently the only indigenous species with spacefaring capacities, we would receive the taxes from the interstellar trade that would happen in that hub. But what about the indigenous Martians? We have spoken about them a couple of times. You might remember how the benevolent reptiloids from the Martian resistance were assisted with weapons from the Galactic Federation of Worlds and how the planet was finally liberated from the Dark Fleet and other malevolent species. Recently not only the native reptilians, but also the insectoids were part of the meetings that eventually led to the terraforming of Mars, potentially leading to these species being able to live in domes above the ground again. Just imagine humanity peacefully cohabiting these domes with native Martians. In the excerpt below we can hear Elena say that as soon as the Martians develop spacefaring abilities a new alliance will need to be formed, an alliance of the people from the planets and moons from our solar system, the Sol Alliance. The main aim of this alliance will be to defend our solar system from intruders. Who will be the members of this future Sol Alliance? Elena says that in principle only indigenous species will join the Sol Alliance, but some exceptions might be made for certain colonies that have been in our solar system for ages. These exceptions will be discussed on a case-by-case -case basis, if relevant and necessary. Elena Danon adds that there are many other indigenous civilizations developing on other moons in our solar system. She expresses the hope that they will also join the Sol Alliance one day. When talking about the other inhabitants of our solar system from other star systems, she mentioned the colonies on Neptune and Venus and on a number of moons like Titan, Io, Europa, Ganymede, Callisto, Ariel, Triton and Enceladus and others. Some final reflections. Isn't this funny? Some of us might be opening up to the idea of civilizations on other planets in other star systems, far, far away. But this article shows us that even our own little star system would be teeming with life, and then we are obviously not talking about a few microbes here and there, but highly advanced civilizations who have built colonies here ages ago. Besides that we would have moons which would harbor developing species, not yet able to fly off their celestial globes. Let's hope we will be able to tear down the powers that are still controlling our societies, so we can all tune into a reality that is bigger than we would have ever imagined. What are your thoughts on all of this? Science fiction or truth, or perhaps something in between? Let yourself be heard in the TikTok comments or join on Telegram or YouTube.